हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल अस्मास बॉटनी ओके सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द इनहिबिटरी जीन इंटरेक्शन ओके सो दिस इनहिबिटरी जीन इंटरेक्शन इज अ टाइप ऑफ इंटरजीनिक टाइप जीन इंटरेक्शन ओके आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ जीन इंटरेक्शन द टू टाइप्स द इंट्राजीनिक एंड द इंटरजीनिक ओके सो द इनहिबिटरी जीन इंटरेक्शन इज अ टाइप ऑफ इंटरजीनिक टाइप जीन इंटरेक्शन मीन्स it is between two different genes and these two different genes can be present on the same chromosome on different locus or on the homolog 1 or homolog 2 and on the non homologous chromosomes also so the, this is called as a intergenic so i have already discussed the uh, first uh, three types first is the modifying gene interaction then second is the complementary gene interaction and third is the duplicate gene interaction then the fourth is the inhibitory gene interaction okay so in this the inhibitory word is coming so in this gene interaction some type of inhibition occurs okay so what is the range and what is the limits of the inhibition we will study in this inhibitory gene interaction so to understand this the definition we can understand the so the definition is there are two genes two genes means i we know that two genes because we are studying the gene interaction the intergenic type so there must be two genes and the two two genes mutually react with each other and change the phenotype okay so there are two genes from which the gene 1 the gene 1 and gene 2 as are present from which the gene 1 have its phenotypic effect okay and gene 2 gene 2 does not have its phenotypic effect we know that in the gene interaction in the intergenic the one character is controlling by the two genes okay but here it is saying that gene 1 have its phenotypic effect but but gene 2 does not have its phenotypic effect so what is the meaning of this that gene 2 does not have its phenotypic effect then how we are studying in uh, the into in this gene interaction it doesn't means that this gene 2 is not responsible co- for controlling the one phenotype the one character this is also affect this one phenotype but particularly the character is not present because of this so there is a range how can it affect this phenotypic character this one particular phenotypic character okay so the gene 2 doesn't have its phenotypic effect but listen carefully that but when dominant allele of the gene 2 is present means the dominant allele of the gene 2 is present dominant allele of the gene 2 is present in any genotype then it inhibits the expression of the dominant allele of the gene 1 okay so this gene 2 is not respond not to have the some phenotypic effect but it is inhibiting the another gene functioning the gene 1 functioning and what is the inhibition range the range is that the gene 2 when present in the dominant stage when the in genotype gene 2 dominant allele is present then it inhibits the gene 1 and only the dominant allele of the gene 1 is inhibited so there is a inhibition between there is a inhibition by the dominant allele of the gene 2 on the dominant allele of the gene 1 okay so so that's why the gene 2 is also known as the gene inhibitory gene inhibitory gene okay so because this is doing gene 2 is doing the function of function of inhibition okay so uh, the inhibitory gene the inhibition 
is occurring in this so this gene interaction is known as the inhibitory gene interaction okay so then example we can understand it by the example of this leaf color in rice rice the or rice as a type that is belong to the family boisei or gramini okay so in the leaf color in rice this this character this particular one character is controlling by the two genes okay the gene to does not have any um, phenotypic effect but it is inhibitory it to the inhibition so the first gene which is which is responsible for the leaf color character it have the two alleles the dominant allele is the capital p and the recessive is the small p okay this this dominant allele is responsible for the purple color of the leaf and this green color green color is responsible green allele small p is responsible for the green color of leaf okay then this gene 2 gene 2 is not have any phenotype but it is known as inhibitory gene okay so this inhibitory gene have the two alleles the capital i which is dominant and small i which is recessive okay so this capital e and small e is responsible only for the inhibition so there is a range in his, in the inhibition this capital i this dominant allele only in do the work of inhibition this small i does not do the work of inhibition okay so this dominant allele of the gene 2 inhibits the capital p which is the dominant allele of the gene 1 okay but this small i does not affect does not inhibit the capital p this which is the allele dominant allele of this gene one so there is a inhibition there is an inhibition between the dominant allele by the dominant allele of the gene 2 capital i on the dominant allele of the gene one that is the capital p the purple color of plants okay so this purple color of plants only occur when only occur when this capital i the dominant allele is absent okay so if we do the cross in the cross you can see uh, first of all we uh, took this parent first have the purple colored leaf plant purple color is present because here no dominant uh, inhibitory gene okay so this is expressing the dominant allele the purple color flower allele leaf allele is expressing okay but here here you can see here no allele for the purple color flower so mm, the uh, leaf is the green then form the gametes in the f1 generation you can see here here you can see the capital p the purple color of leaf producing allele the capital p is present but the plants have the green colored leaf so what is the reason what is the reason behind this the reason is the presence of this presence of this inhibitory gene inhibitory allele which is present in the dominant stage so this dominant allele the capital i inhibits the function inhibits the expression of this capital p so this cannot express and the plants have the green color leaf not the purple okay then we will do the selfing in the checkerboard for the two generation you can see this in this you can see here only three only three plants have the purple colored leaf all mostly all have the green so you must remember one thing and the one thing uh, is that if inhibitory gene inhibitory allele means the dominant allele ja, the dominant allele of the inhibitory gene is present the capital i is present in any genotype then the plant must be green leaf plant the purple color can only occur when this capital i 
the inhibitory gene dominant allele is absent okay so here you can see capital i is present so green here also here also here also here you can see here the purple color present because the inhibitory gene the dominant inhibitory allele is absent okay so and here also absent and here you can here also absent so there are only three situations when this inhibitory dominant allele is absent okay and that's why the f2 generation phenotypic ratio is deviate from the mendes dihybrid cross it is 13 is to uh, 3 13 green colored leaf plant and 3 purple colored leaf plant okay so this is the reason of this inhibition and the deviation in the phenotype of the F2 generation. Okay, and the genotypic ratio remains same, you know. Okay, so I hope you understood and if, if you like the videos, press the like button and share it and stay tuned for the next videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel Asmas Botany and press the bell icon for the latest update. Thank you.